Hello and welcome, I'm MJ Haggis and this is SnowRunner and we are on the modded map region of Highway Holland, the region. So before I start trying to get this 745C onto the back of this trailer, we're going to start on a celebratory note. Yes, I would like to wish Stephen McConnell, yes you Stephen, a happy birthday. All the very best, I hope you have a fantastic day. Right, on that happy note, nothing can possibly go wrong anymore for the rest of this episode at least. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But anyway. Right, how are we going to do this? I reckon as soon as I try and put a winch to that, he's going to maybe straighten up and go a different direction to how I've got the ramp. I did finally get it attached, but I'm not hopeful. So let's get the engine on. Right, let's get some winch points. Which is the high one? It's that one there on the right. Please. It's straightened up. Reel him in, reel him in. Ah, oh, look at that. Where's he off to? He's gonna, are you gonna fall over too? I, 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 I did have a little bit of high hopes for him just to roll straight on. Oh man. I'm almost almost thinking about just trying to put the collab on instead it might be easier um, where else could we possibly do this the easiest place was right down at the beginning because it was it was level ground dropping onto more level ground which I wouldn't even be able to reach there so let's back it up. One last attempt. Again, the wheels have all lifted off the ground because the ramps are. Okay, they're still down. What? Where's the other one gone? I've broken a ramp. Take your mind up. There we go. See, it'd be nice if they were just that little bit longer. Right, if we can just get them to stay. Got there. Ramps down. And I. Why can't I reach? Really, am I still that far away? Let's try it anyway. Uh, oh, it's so cool. Right, come here. Turn. Yes. Turn, turn, turn. I can't tell. Let's move to the back of the trailer. Right. Okay, I'm trying to pull on the winch, but it's just not got anything in it. Let's try from this point now. Go on. It's up. It's going up. It's going up. Now, the problem is... He's going to slide off to the right. And this wheel's already not playing. Um, it was looking... It was looking promising. I need to try and pull the trailer over a wee bit. Maybe help in the pull up. Thank you. You stay there. Please climb up. Oh, it was... <sighs> That's just so frustrating that they just push underneath. Okay, what say we try, I'll move the, this trailer around and we'll go off that direction, we'll try and get the collab up from in reverse. It just might work, I don't know. I'm at a loss.
For now, I need to get back round to the front. Watch your ears in case it's loud. Wasn't too bad. I'm gonna hit cat. Everything is just not playing. I wasn't even shooting that. There's no way with that long nose of the cat that it's going to want to go on that way, front ways. And I'm probably pushing my luck with this as well, but I've got to get them on. I've got. To, I'm not doing two trips. I know I'd be almost there by now with one of them. Ramps down. It looks kind of straight. And I need to pick the right winch point. Please climb up. <gasps> going up. It's going up. He's not even far off. Yes! He'll pack. Will the ramps come up? That's good enough for me. We'll take that. Any day of the week now. Well, they do say you can't control cats. And I fully agree with that now. Cats are mischievous little terraways. He's still, even then, he's facing the wrong way for me to pull him properly, so he's going in reverse. Down we go. That cat went on so nicely, and not the cat, the colob went on so nicely, and he's got smaller wheels. But I'm so pleased that this has at least saved a bit of face for me. Right, like, come here, cat. Okay, we're going this way. And I've forgotten since yesterday how much um, of the repair I did to the cat. I was thinking, do I need to put fuel in him, maybe, if I want him to stick his engine on? I don't think we're going to come across too many seriously steep hills. Certainly nothing like it was coming out of the pit, so hopefully... Oh, okay. Just thought if that cat starts cutting corners, I'm gonna. Come on. Why am I not moving? Come on. That's it. Just get a little bit more speed. I'm gonna have to winch the cat in a bit closer to the trailer, otherwise, he's gonna keep cutting corners. And that's where it's gonna get messy again. Come on, in you come. He's pretty close behind now. Go on, pull up, pull. Pull and don't hit the tree. Oh, he's really toiling. Come on. I was pushing so hard down on that accelerate button. I thought I was going to push it through the keyboard. Well, again, it's one of those cases that I was mentioning in the comments. I think I dodged a bullet with that one. 
That could have been a lot worse. As long as... Oh no, I'm not even going to say it. Nope. This is a drive through the countryside and then onto the roads and then it's a just a simple case of heading to Manchester. You'll be fine. Got to stay ultra focused on the road. No crashing. Oh, I said it, didn't I? We've got a rickety wee bridge to cross. Oh, we do as well. Okay. Nice and easy. Still there, yeah, still there. Mm. Straight across. Please, everybody, stay aligned. rather successful. Now we're on the good stuff. That's a steep hill to climb though. Let's take it wide. That's a nasty tree there in the corner. A funny feeling the cat's going to try and climb it. Sorry signpost but you had to come with me. And we're good. Go on, keep going, keep going. Keep the momentum. Struggling, but he was he's did well in high ratio, but further than I thought he was gonna get. <sighs> and breathe. I think we're I think we're good. All for the sake of me being lazy and can't be bothered to do two runs. And I like the challenge. We get into high ratio. This should be the fuel station coming up, I think. Yes, it is. We've got plenty of fuel, but I am going to pop in and top it back up again and straight back out again. Okay, the cat missed that signpost amazingly. Look at that. Fill me up, please. And the roof rack, mate, as well. That's a crazy amount of fuel in the roof. I'd even have been happy with 180 litres. Right, we're good. Everything's filled. And off we go again. Okay, let's look where I'm going. I'll keep you with me to the highway, which is not too far, because then I've got to run through Bennington and get all the way to Manchester, so I'll be a bit similar to the other ones where I'll just do a jump cut right the way through to the final, I don't know, final kilometre or so. This is fairly straightforward now. Hoping for some pizza. I think after that disaster at the end of the last episode, need more than a pizza. I'm thinking more large whiskey. As long as I'm not driving afterwards, of course. Is this finally at the top of the map, top of the hill? I feel like I've been climbing ever since I got out of the pit. That's the junction back down again, but we're going straight onto the highway. Everything's getting a little bit more green now. Lush. 
Very nice. Right, slow ratio. Let's not go racing down here. Let's hope the cats aren't doing anything silly. Excellent. Right. Nasty right hand corner. Turn. Be round. Oh yeah, that's good. And sorry, I'm flinging the camera about because I want to make sure the cat doesn't go off on a tangent, try and climb the arm core or roll over catch behind a tree or any of that kind of nonsense that cats can do. Look at that lovely wide highway to play with. Everything is now on plan for the drop-off. So, to save a bit of time and we can move on to something new, which I have completely not planned for anything after this because I didn't think we'd be at this stage. So, we'll worry about that later, but I will see you through in Manchester. Um, I think we come off the motor or the highway quite quickly because we're going to the, the past the garage area. So, anyway, we'll see you in Manchester. Back in a sec. Yes. Welcome back. Made it through. I even put the beacons on because we are a long vehicle and wide vehicle. How professional am I? Okay, this is our junction off down towards the garage, so we're not too far away. But a couple of sharp corners, as I recall, we've got to do. But that'll be fun. I'll maybe have to detach the winch and do them individually at the end. Oh, it's suddenly getting dark. Oh, man, that was quick. There's our fuel trailer that I jumped to the junction. He's not really in the way, so that's fine. Let me get onto the downhill and we'll get the day back round to the morning. Up there. Ooh, ready. Oh, he's into the evening time. He wants to stop for his dinner anyway, so that's fine. That is breakfast, and we're off again. Now, do you notice something that's different? What's different? Yep. The cat has turned around. When I jumped through the gateway into Bennington, the cat was no longer facing in reverse. He turned around. Magic trick. Didn't affect anything, luckily. And what I did notice was I was actually going at a fairly decent speed, like I am now. That's me already in ninth gear, zooming along. I don't think the cat's ever been so fast. Not bothering with fuel there. This is our junction off to the right for the garage. We just continue along the road. Away. Coming. This is a super steep hill. Oh boy. Yeah. Forgot about this one. I'm, I'm edging over towards the verge just in case I need to stick those tires onto the, the dirt. It's doing really well actually, considering what it's doing. And the cat's engine's still off. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. I'll live with that. Okay, is this my next left? It is. Okay, nice and wide. Signpost is bound to get it. At least we can blame the cat for his mischievousness. Nothing to do with us. Last. What's that? Maybe half a kilometre to go? Ah, 
and my short but what's the words really short but efficient time with the Polo Mod JBE I've really enjoyed I want to use this truck more because he's just he's super capable he turns nicely he's got power not without it being excessive just a really nice truck and I think it looks awesome right okay we are dropping off the Colob first for in the pit vehicle number two and then the cat these are two separate contracts so I need to remember that well, let's get it forward a little bit further I don't know if we need to unpack it we'll find out no but we have been promoted 25,000 cash 2,000 XP no wonder we got promoted so that's in the pit vehicle number two and it says geez you did a good job on that we had a few different companies fail on getting those things out thanks for the help you're welcome kind of because that was a struggle anyway that's that done and we've gained the collab we'll accept that and now we'll get the re the other one up hey i need to go to the map and we were in Morrison Mining. And it was in the pit. Vehicle number one. Start cracking. There we go. Same drop off. I want that one. Not going to hit anything, I might. Oh. Right. There he goes. And another 25,000 and 2,000 XP. <laughs> Okay, it says exactly the same. That's 50,000 and 4,000 XP. Excellent. I even push this guy back because I need to get turned to go to the garage. And it is working. Can I get turned in this space without having to let go of the cat? Turning so sharp that even the trailer's struggling. Excellent. Oh, need to take it a bit wider than that, though. So it's back to the garage, and I'm just going to keep you with me for this, just to get them dropped off. Because I may well want to use this pole ob again. I need to get it back to the garage. Maybe not immediately. It depends what task or contract we come up with next but I do feel that uh, this guy's going to be a awesome workhorse and he sounds really good as well What we do with the other Colob, the one that's slightly damaged and on the trailer, uh, anybody's guess, do we keep it? What's your thoughts on that Colob? Do we keep them and maybe use, it, use them? I don't have a mod for that Colob, only the one that we're driving. I mean, I have got no objections to keeping a vanilla heavy truck. Nice and easy down the hill. It'll be just my luck if I crash now. Or other trailer, I'll need to get rid of mm, at least one of them. Tell you what, even with the cat getting dragged the engine off and everything else, this fuel efficiency, oh, that's close. Hey, 11.1 it's using per minute. That's very efficient. Oh, okay, that cat was close. Keep coming. There we go. No damage. I'm going to have to try and sneak this into this box and go around oh. 
we've got in the concrete. There we go. I would say we'll get the coal obs certainly into the box. So let's unpack them. And we'll change to that guy. Change truck. Coal ob. There we go. We are in the garage. Again, it's a good looking truck. And he's not too low at the front, but he does have that long snout which can affect things. So anyway, let's get him in the garage. Yes, looking awesome. We'll train him back outside. And we go straight into the garage with this guy. Is he in the box? Not quite. Okay. Change. I still attack. No, I'm not. Come here, cat. Destroying the fence again. And back into the garage with you too. So, all in all, we would have been... This is up to four cats. We would have had maybe even five. Obtain him. And local map. And we are jumping back to this guy. Are you jumping back into that guy? There we go. Hey, I'm just going to reverse back out since this thing will reverse nicely. I'll worry about this trailer later. I'm just going to park it up over here. Hopefully that's out of the way. Everything get round. That's the trailer. And back in the garage. Good job, JBE. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's look at the maps again, the contracts. Um, what was out there and about? I saw a 50, 70. Where are you? Oh, yeah, I need to get him back as well. Okay. I'll, I, get, I was some. I was supposed to do that before. I just ran out of time. Right. Contracts. That's all of these done. What's an interesting and decent contract? For those of you that have been playing and are way ahead of me, please, by all means, leave me a comment suggesting what are good contracts in all of these and or tasks. Um, that's another one. Scra uh, scrapping the old GMC. That's another recovery one. And that GMC, if my memory serves me correctly, is the one that's in the ice roads that we first came to with the Ford F750. Shall we have a look at that? Start tracking that. Junk GMC. Uh, pick up the junk GMC in Rotland. No, I thought it was... Let's have a quick look in the ice roads. Junk GMC. It is. Yeah, I was right. Hey, my memory did work. He was in a horrible place, and that snow around him was, was not pleasant. So that could be a good challenge. Why don't we go and try and get him out? We could pop back to the garage here and pull out another truck. Why don't we even try it with the new Colob? It's vanilla. It's the kind of thing that would possibly be considered for that job. Who knows? Let's see. No, nope. yep, this is a fella. Right, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Um, and because he's vanilla, I'm not even sure what add ons he has. It might just be a winch job uh, and pull him back to the garage or wherever, or at least to the main road by the garage. Um, engine, let's go. Let's go large. We made some money. So that gearbox is advanced special. Oh no, I like fine tune. I'll go for that. We'll sell the other ones. Back to suspension, yes please. Tires. Mm, we want off road is excellent and mud is excellent. So we'll take these. Yeah. I actually like the look of them as well. Anyway, advanced heavy winch. There's another shed load of catch. That's engageable anyway. Snorkel. I'm hoping I wouldn't need a snorkel. We're not going through the ice. However, 
front facing that's a nice tall one we'll take that thank you very much pleasure doing business and a saddle high is your choice and that's fine if you want to use trailers like that low body um or low boy low boy trailer hmm okay choice of one we'll take it bumpers I know, let's start with the sun visors. I'm not fussed with any of them, to be honest. Front bumpers, anything that raises it up, nothing. Okay, we'll just stick that one on. Take the front if you crash into things, which I tend to do. Beacons, beacons, lights, horns, horns, and fog lights. Not fussed with any of that. Stop. Exhaust. Not fussed either way. We'll go for the outroll. I normally stick with stock for some reason. And the rims. Makes zero difference. Not fast paint schemes. Anything you like? Eh, where's the white? We could go with a snow colour. Yeah, let's apply that. It's easy to see as well. Right, we are good. Ooh, that's so cold. So cold. Right. Um, let's go for a drive. No, he's sinking into the snow already or into the ground. Yeah, no niceties with this one. No rear wheel steering. No overpowered engine. This is vanilla. I like vanilla. Has a flavour. As well as vanilla trucks. I'm just going to have to be a little bit careful. We're not going to break any records speed-wise, I don't think. Five forward gears. Not too bad, actually. No chains, so you don't want to be racing along these roads, that's for sure. And this is very pleasant. Now the question is, do I... It actually handles quite nicely there. Um, before we venture out onto the thing, let's bring it to a grind it. Looks like it's the rear two axles that got the handbrake on it. That's interesting. I thought it would just be the rear eventually coming to a grinding halt. Right. Where are we going? Right, so all the way around that junction, down to there. We've got the fuel trailer there, which is quite nice. And round. We're going to save a bit of time because we are going right the way back with this. So, jump cut time, and I'll bring you back probably at this waypoint here for the last little section. Uh, just in case there's anything exciting going on en route, if I crash in, I will keep it recording. But, all going well, and I can't see any problems. I'll see you at that waypoint, ready for the last bit, and the return journey. So, see you in a sec. Okay, welcome back. I have made it without any troubles, and I do like 8x8s for crossing the ice. Much more confidence inspiring. Stick an all wheel drive and just go. Right, there's our scout fuel trail in the distance there, but I'm thinking of cutting off onto the snow slightly early. I'm going to move this waypoint around to there, and again, we'll just scout around the edge. Hopefully, it'll be fine. I even leave it in high ratio. Or maybe even low ratio. For the snow. Okay, so far this is really better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't even have to change down, down to low, so maybe we've got a good chance of getting this GMC out of here without too much fuss. I'll pretty much be following my tracks right back out again. Okay, 
the ice that might break. Because I'm sure I can do this way with the Ford. In these rocks. There he is, hiding in the woods. Oh yeah, that was easy. I am brimming with confidence now. Turn, we'll pull him out from behind that little jetty. Ooh, here he comes. Look at the difference in size. It's just mental. Like, we are off. I can't remember what it was I fixed on this guy with the Ford. It might have just been the tires. Possibly even maybe the suspension. I can't remember. But he's moving, which is the main thing. And a whole lot easier than when the Ford was having a go, that's for sure. Pretty good in the snow. It looks like the the diffs are not. I mean, obviously I've not got the diff lock on, but the the diffs that run from engine back to the axles can spin up at different speeds, which is a little bit strange because you think all-wheel drive the diff running longitudinally, like from front to back, would be at the same speed. So all wheels will be turning at the same speed. And it's only the diff lock from the left wheels to the right wheels that keeps those ones from spinning individually. Anyway, that's, that's way too deep. And I'm not even going to bother about getting fuel out of the little fuel trailer. We're just going to head straight back to the... We uh, at half. What we at? 172 of 340 to get here. It's going to be snug. I'll maybe have to drive as much as I can without the all wheel drive on. This is going to be close. And reckless, considering I've got a scout fuel trailer right back there. I think I've got a little bit of speed. Where's the first bit that's breaking anyway? I tried to stick to the side. Same as I did before. One side, when it starts to break, drive on one side so it keeps the rest still quite solid for the return journey. I'm starting to think, have I gone too far? But no, this is good. Here's my broken ice. And that was the bit that the Ford really struggled at. Go on, Colob. Keep it going. Come on, keep it going, don't let me down now. He went across it the other way, absolutely, like he was on fire. But then he wasn't towing a dead GMC. Come on. 
Hey, what? I think it is going to be close with the old fuel. Maybe, maybe I put some fuel into the GMC we can borrow out. It doesn't use an awful lot more when you have all-wheel drive on than when you don't, which is actually quite interesting. I might as well just leave it on. Swinging up that hill there. It's like, actually, at this point, where are we going with this engine off? It's, like, it's almost worth considering going straight across again than round, but I am going to go round to get fuel. So we, uh, yeah, it's uh, six or two threes. Need to reconnect. Oh. Because he went over the muddy section up this way, it wasn't slow. I think we'll be fine. That was easy. Try and see if this engine will start. Oh, it did start. And it almost looks like he is trying to drive too, instead of like the ones that are just staying uh, neutral. So, that might save a little bit of fuel. The closer we get anyway to the proper roads, it doesn't really matter. If I do run out of fuel, it's easy enough to bring out uh, another vehicle just to top me back up. I would just rather not have to do that. Last couple of hills, we'll be fine, I'm sure. You definitely notice the smaller fuel tank compared to the, the JBE version. I mean, 340 litres is not a small tank anyway. Come on, you're struggling here a wee bit though. Come on. Well, you're just getting slower and slower. Last hill. Almost done. Go on. I just saw the light change. Does that mean the evening's drawing in again already? Where's the sun? It's getting low.
Okay, I think I think we're good. 59 liters. We've got a wee drive over the other side of that hill. feel quite so nervous about that broken section I know I'm not going to sink through oh the fuel's in the red oh oh I've got nothing we can take out of the GMC now he's just ran out oh boy it's going to be close Kind of time when you wanted to have fuel in the GMC up the hill. Mm. Go on, Colob, give it everything. You do not want to be walking back in the snow with a jerry can. It'd have to be a very big jerry can, and it's it's cold out there. Where's the fuel station? Is it right at the junction? Or is it straight ahead of us? I think that's it straight ahead. I know there's a wee scout one there, but we're going to go for the fuel station straight ahead. Go, go, go. Come on. I feel like I'm just getting slower and slower. For that... Was calculated almost perfectly. Right, I'll do it. Um, fuel me up, please. And then from here, I think I need to transfer it to the GMC. And then back to us. That's us both filled. No roof racks on this coal up. Before we go any further, where are we going with this GMC? It says Rutland. Is that where we're going? Uh, oh, look at that. It's all the way around. Gonna be dropping you off, scrapping the old GMC. Oh, he is there. Okay, that's a, that's a hefty drive. So I'm coming off of this first one. It's all low definition at the moment, but we're coming through from Bennington and coming off of the first junction, and then up the hill. Okay, we can do that. Might have to stop at a couple more fuel stations, I think. I'm going to put his engine back off. I don't think we'll need it for the drive along the road. Yeah, it's not a bad speed, as long as I don't slide off the road. Okay, it's going to be jump cut time, considering this is going to be highway, just going from gateway to gateway. So I will bring you back in Rutland, I suppose, with the last little section, same as the last uh, little exercise with the goal of funnily enough. What a beast of a machine. 
You meet that coming down the road and you're going to get out of the way, aren't you? Absolute giant. Awesome. Guys, I'll also bring you back down to the morning. So, I'll see you in a sec. Welcome back. That's me through into Rutland, just through the gateway. Everything was good except for one steep hill on the roads where everything, Colob and GMC, just drifted through, down the hill, off to the left, and I hit the arm core in the middle, the crash barrier, and I caused a bit of damage to the suspension. Uh, I think the GMC took a little bit of a hit as well. Nothing I could do. Well, it probably was. I could have driven slower, but that wasn't much fun. I was making good progress. So, yeah. If that's the worst that happens, I'll accept it. But here, ah, yes, a sunny Rutland. It's a Rutland morning. Coming up for lunchtime, so hopefully we get the rest of this journey done in the nice daylight. I mean, if I'd been after a more speedy contract, I could have probably stopped off at a garage en route, swapped this guy out for the one with the towing ramp and stuck the GMC in the towing ramp and just scooted off that way. But I like to use the trucks that we've gained, and this was the latest acquisition, so... It's nice to be back in a vanilla truck of this nature. I've set some waypoints, just so I don't take the wrong junction. It should be a nice easy drive. Most of it's on asphalt roads, really almost up until the drop-off point. Oh, okay, keep going. Ooh. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, that's a bit better. I mean, that's a that's a steep off ramp. But I have noticed that, and I can't remember if I've mentioned it, bridges seem to have crazy amounts of adhesion or traction for tyres. I was sliding down one of the hills, and as soon as I hit the bridge, it suddenly gripped. Maybe they could just make all the asphalt roads out of whatever it is that the bridges are made out of. This is another steep one. Right, let's put the engine on of the GMC. Make it a little bit easier. And as much as I enjoy driving the JBE Colo, I've not had it's not been disappointing driving this one, this vanilla one. So it makes a nice change because in other maps I enjoyed driving the smaller trucks. Oh, a flop. Oopsie, more damage. What a gearbox. Um, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by an exploding gearbox, was the smaller trucks, like the Pike, they were just so um, capable for such a small truck until it came to snow and ice when they didn't have any chain options. But, you know, it was just so enjoyable using those vanilla trucks that you think, why would you need anything else? Except for jobs like this, maybe. in there. That's a drop-off or something. You ain't got too far to go because there's the drop-off marker. You need to be careful. This is obviously going to be a steep descent. So, just need to take that a little bit easy. 
What a view, though. Right out over the ocean. I think our junction should be coming up pretty soon. Yeah, there's a 12, 12 degree, no, 12 percent uh, gradient. That's a lot. Oh, in fact, yeah, that's a lot. That's high ratio. The roads were really nicely, freshly asphalted, or tarred as we would say. That'd have been good fun. In a car, a motorbike. Okay, and here's our last junction. Far to go now. Only issue is I've got to get the collab and this GMC if he becomes ours, which I think he does as well. Back to the garage. Another long drive. We're getting to that stage where I've got trucks left about all over the place. Where is it left? Here. Gotta be. House in the desert. We're here. <gasps> no, we're not. We've come to the wrong house. Oh, all that I've scared all the birds. Where are we going? Oh, we're going over there. Uh, I can't even take a shortcut. Oh, I thought I was there. Right, GMC, we've come to the wrong place. Back it up. Sorry, I hope I didn't get you up. Out of your beds. Back it up, GMC. Come on. Your engine's on. You should be able reversing. I'm reversing. Go on. Penburn haven't been here. They might not have noticed. Except for the huge tracks I'm leaving in their driveway. Come on, GMC, you're really struggling. I'm gonna squeeze them through those trees. Oh man, okay, we're getting all tied up in knots here. Try and spin them round. Oh, oh no, I'm up against the tree. This is turning into a mess. out onto the road and we didn't take the wrong junction I blame the GPS nothing to do with my driving or directional skills or map reading or any of that stuff it's destroying every tree in the neighborhood as well come on we're not there yet come on oh look at that what have we caught on now Really, GMC? I'm stuck. Well, the GMC's in the tree. I've just, I was looking at this tree thinking, what's he caught on? It's this tree behind it. Ah. Just when I thought it was all going so well. You decided to stick yourself in a tree. Uh, which is the right waypoint? Uh, which point? That's a tree. Which is the... That's another tree. Have you not got any winch points at the back of your GMC? Really? Come on. I don't know. Is it the middle wheels? 
I full on jammed them in there. Oh no! Oh, wrong button. Really, the bench. It's got to be a rear winch point. I just I'm at the wrong angle for it. A tree. That's a tree. Really, game. Stop trolling me now. Get off. You know what? I'm even going to accept that. Release. I'm going to get around there without. I don't want to knock him back in the tree. I just want to go around him and use the winch to pull him back around. Squeeze through there. He's damaged anyway. He's getting the scrap. It doesn't matter. Come on. Those trees. I feel like I ought to get him back on his wheels though. Pull him around from the back. They all go. That's a GMC that does not want to be on his wheels. Get up. There you go. After that, let's get out of here. <sighs> really? I'm a professional delivery driver. You shouldn't be making these mistakes. Downhill section. Oh no, look at my fuel as well. I better remember I'd take some back out of that GMC before I drop them off. Last corner, and we're there. Oh, we're in the sign, sorry. Here's the box, yay! Now we can do the horn to say we're here. Come and get him! Oh, stop, 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 I need to get the fuel. GMC to me, yes, please. We'll just take the lot for now, just in case he disappears. Don't call in. Right. Bye bye. And he is ours. Hey, I've got an empty truck. Right. That's. I hope that didn't push you too hard. I doubt it's worth much, but it's nice to have the junk cleared up around this beautiful area. Yes, five thousand five hundred cash, seven hundred fifty XP. You know what? That's not a lot of money considering we had to drag him so far and out of the snowy realms of the ice roads. So, let's drag him further out of the way. You're going to come round or you're going to fall over? Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll clear the junk out of your driveway. It's ranch style. What's it? Has this got a name? Oh, it's a house with no name. 
Okay. Right, well, on that basis, I am going to now call that an episode and get this guy, or these guys, back to the garage. So let's put the engine off. Find out where I am on the map. Where's the garage? I'm going back up to that road and then all the way around. Okay, I've still not even put the Hummer back in the garage yet. I've still got that Scout 800 to visit. Ah, so many things to do. And I've got my bandit as well. Oh, the poor bandit's sitting out there. I guess I've got a little bit of tidying up to do, guys. But the Colob and the GMC is the first one in the list since we're right here. So on that basis, I want to thank you once again for taking the time to watch. And again, happy birthday to Stephen McConnell. I hope you do have a really good day. Guys, you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.